Welcome back to English Made Interesting. Let's learn together. First, let's discuss the answers for the practice exercise that was given in the previous video. Identify the kind of sentence. He has a little cat. It is an assertive kind of sentence. God save our country. It's an optative sentence. It's a prayer. The cat likes milk. It's again a assertive sentence or you can call it a declarative sentence. May you live long. It's an optative sentence. It's a prayer. How foolish I have been. It's an exclamatory sentence and it's a wonder. What are you trying for? It's an interrogative sentence. Open the door. It's an imperative sentence and a command. How cold the night is? It is an exclamatory sentence. Let's go for a walk. It's an imperative sentence and it is a suggestion. How are you? It is an interrogative sentence. Go and call your parents. It is an imperative sentence and it's a command. Suman is not going home. It is a negative sentence. Man is a social animal. It is a declarative sentence. You can also call it as a positive or assertive sentence. Stand up and face the blackboard. It is an imperative sentence and it is a command. May you recover soon. It is an optative sentence and it is a prayer. Hope you all got it right and I believe that you have some idea about the different kinds of sentences. Today, we will have a quick glance at the parts of speech. Words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech according to their use, which means according to the work they do in a sentence. Parts of speech are Nouns, adjectives, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections and determiners. Now, let's see what a noun is. Noun is a word used as the name of a person, place or a thing. Example, Akbar was a great king. The rose smells sweet. The sun shines bright. Here, Akbar and sun are proper nouns. King and rose are common nouns. Now, What's an adjective? An adjective is a word used to add something to the meaning of a noun. Example, he is a brave boy. Boy is a common noun. Brave is something that is added to the meaning of a noun. So, he is a brave boy. So, brave is the adjective here. Now what's a pronoun? A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Example, John is absent because he is ill. John is the proper noun here and he is the pronoun used in place of John. This is just to avoid the repetition. 
Now what's a verb? A verb is a word used to say something that is being done. That is to denote an action, the condition of the subject or what is possessed by the subject. No sentence can be formed without a verb. It may consist of one word, more than one word, maybe two, three or even four words. We also have helping verbs like am, is, are, was, were, being, been, will be, has, have, had, having, will have, does, do, did, will do, etc. Now look at the examples. Gagan is cleaning the house. Rhea danced well. She is a hard working girl. The boys are waiting in the laboratory. The teacher praised the children. So now is cleaning, danced, is, are waiting, praised are the verbs along with the helping verbs. Now what's an adverb? An adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb, adjective or another adverb. I'll repeat. An adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb, adjective or another adverb. Example, he worked the sum quickly. So the word quickly is the adverb and it modifies the verb worked. Now look at the second sentence. He walked slowly. The word slowly is the adverb and it modifies the verb walked. They were extremely tired. The word extremely modifies the adjective tired. He speaks clearly. The word clearly is the adverb here and it modifies the verb speaks. Now look at the last sentence. He spoke very softly. The word very is the adverb and it modifies the adverb softly. Now what is a preposition? A preposition is a word that links a noun or a pronoun or a phrase to other words in a sentence. The word preposition means placing before. It is placed before a noun or a pronoun and shows its relationship with some other words in a sentence. Now look at the examples. His parents are proud of him. She was grateful to her friend. He stays near the bus stand. My uncle owns a house at Kalyanpur in Bihar. The coach was happy with Tom because he played well. So here of to near, at, in and with are the prepositions. Now what's a conjunction? A conjunction is a word used to connect sentences, words, phrases and clauses. They are called connectors or linkers as well. Now examples, this school is very good and 
the teachers are excellent should i take the bus or should i go by an auto rickshaw mona likes to eat bread and jam he is sharp but very careless she can wear the red dress or the green one here and or but or etc other conjunctions used what's an interjection it's a word which expresses some sudden feeling example hurray we have won the game alas the dog is dead now let us see what are determiners determino is a word that is placed before an adjective that specifies a noun many articles also qualify as determiners it specifies or determines the quality of the noun a determiner is always followed by a noun example the prime minister of india lives in new delhi new delhi is a modern city many people came to the party so here the a many are the determiners used now just note how the word after is used in the following sentences the same word can be used as different parts of speech they arrived soon after so here the word after is being used as an adverb now look at the next sentence they arrived after us here the word after is used as a preposition now look at the last sentence they arrived after we had left so here the word after is used as a conjunction we will discuss in detail about each of the parts of speech in the subsequent videos thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video take care and stay safe